What's poppin' homies, it's your boy Frank Nitty back in the building, back in the car, back bringing you guys another video. And today, I'm heading to Orlando, Florida. I'm about to do an outlet. You already know what I do, man. So I'm gonna get back on my outlet grind. I haven't been really, really doing outlets like I really, really, really do outlets. So I'm gonna bring that to you today. Yo, my goal is to hit up maybe four minimum. Definitely hit you up with two Adidas outlet. That may be in a separate vlog, so stay tuned to that for my Adidas lovers. But if you wanna see outlets in general, man, continue watching, all right? So let's go to Orlando, let's make it. Yo, I get this a lot. I'm not just saying that just to have material or conversation. I get, how do I get $10 coupon at checkout at Nike? Everybody know this. If you're a frequent shopper at Nike Outlets, you know they give you a survey for every receipt. You got seven days to fill out that survey. And what you do, you enter whatever that 12, 16 digit code they give you, answer a whole bunch of questions. It'll probably take you about five minutes. Submit that, and then they'll actually how you like to be notified. Put in your email address, and voila, you get an email. Usually it takes four or five days. I have seen them come next day. Fill it out on Sunday, probably get it Monday. The quicker you do it, the better you are for your next visit to the outlet store. So it's only right that I bring that up since I'm heading to a Nike outlet. I'm about to do a Nike outlet vlog. So there it goes. For all the people who've been asking, how do I get $10 off? That's how I get $10 off. If you got multiple items, try to separate them. Say, hey, can I pay twice? That way you get multiple receipts. Pull out the receipt. Another tip is to try to do no more than two surveys per email. So if you got two receipts, then you'll do it under one email. And if you got four receipts, you pick a different email, maybe your wife, your girlfriend, or whoever. Don't use the same email more than three surveys. Just a little tip so you won't get blocked, all right? Hope that was insightful, y'all. Yeah. All right, so I'm in the size 11 and a half section right now. What I do see is these 31 statues, and Jordan 2s, and these are hitting for 99 KDs. Yeah, if the price is right, maybe I might come around and cop these sometime, but they're still hitting for 99. What else is in here? Oh, I see some perforated. Oh, nope, these are all black Jordan 1 mid. 60 beans, not bad. Still got these joints. Met for a custom. Got these Kobe joints here. These Leathermans, everyone slept on. 99 beans. Muggle statue 31s. Car pass. Every time I seen this, feel like the Georgetown lows, bro. But they're not. $100. Jordan 1 mids. Oh, this is, ain't these the 30s? Yes. Size 11, no price though. I haven't seen these in a minute. AJ Kales. Somebody asked me what's the difference between AJ Kales. That right there. <laughs> See, it says AJ Kales. Jordan 1s don't have that. For example, here's a Jordan 1 right here. See, it says Air Jordan. And take a look at the AJ Kales. AJ Kales. That's the difference. This would be the colorway if I decide to cop uh, pure patent leather 1 mids. I do have the price 129 for these joints right here, Jordan 30s. I'm not sure who's rocking these, but these are Jordan 1. These trucks, 70 beans, hard pass. The bronze for 80. Air Max Zero Lows, Air Max LD Zeros. These are size 10 right here, man. See a plethora of different shoes. Jordan 2 the trucks, 100 beans. Got some KD, size 10. LeBrons, more LeBrons, other LeBrons. I got these Kobe's right here, man. What they going for, $50, not bad. Big Zikes for 70 beans. Bro, size 10 got a lot of, a lot of nice looking shoes for really, really cheap. I mean, they even got these Turners, Deconstruct ones, Jordan ones, Lowe's. Yo, they got a plethora of different shoes, bro. You got these old school KDs as well. All size 10, these are 70, or 80 beans rather. Jordan 31s, got some KDs down here. The new joints are last year's joints and older joints. Bro, it keeps going too, bro. This is all size 10. Yo, we back at size 12, man. Jordan 1 lows, 70 beans. You got these KDs. These are hitting for $80. I caught these for 35. Part of the yin and yang. These are hitting for 100. I saw something in here. Oh yeah, you guys remember these? When these came out last year? The silver joints? These are here in Atlas, multiple sizes. Size 12, but I don't know what the price is. It's actually no price on them. Oh, $85. Crazy, man. This was a premium shoe at one point. I was asking a guap for them. Not sure what it looked like on camera, but they're silver in hand. $85, man. Size 12. Then you also got the lows at the bottom. No price on them. Yep, 90 beans. Probably a good hooping shoe. Man, you even got the old school Black History Month KD right here, man. And you got the Black History Month Jordan 1 as well. I think this is like two years ago. They're hitting for 80 beans. Actually like this, bro. They don't got my size. Bigger size, they got size 9. And they're hitting for, these are pretty dope, though. Yo, these are the phones with a detachable. And then size 11 right here, but I can still get this probably. Those are really available everywhere. 
All right, pretty much that's it for this uh, Nike clearance spot. Had some good deals, man, but they had no additional discounts because, you know, friends and family was this past weekend. So I'm sure they're not going to have nothing available for for the low. Not until probably the weekend. We got to go to the other Nike outlet, all right? Just pull up to a Nike outlet. This one is in the Plaza, Premium Plaza. I think it's Premium Plaza. Also, there's Adidas in here, and there's also a Shoe Palace. There's a Shoe Palace in here as well. I'm going to pop inside. I'm probably going to visit all three, as I mentioned. Follow me. So I just pull it into Adidas, man. No dramatic entrance, man. We're just gonna get straight into it. Man. All fripped, these shoes are still here. Same price. I have not seen these shoes come down in price at all. But I do like it. Dope shoe. Tubular Doom socks. Never heard of them. What are these? Tubular Shadows. These are Pharrell's. Not bad. You got these joints. Dope colorway. Shoe may not be that great. You got that colorway. And you got this colorway. They're hitting for $100, man. Also look like buy one, get a second one half off. This colorway doesn't look too bad as well. Yo, I like this colorway as well. And you got the Nikes. I think they changed the name of these though to like a number. How much are these going for? 119. PKs fitting for 100. You got the EQTs, 119, 50% off the second pair. You got this green colorway as well, same price, 119. This got a little Concord in here, 119. You got the all black joints, which I prefer, but I like the ones with the black boots. I did cop a pair with the uh, leather on the side. I did return it because I know I can get it cheaper, so I'm still patiently waiting to see where I can get them cheaper at. These are still hitting for 119 more eqts this is like a i don't even know what colorway this is look like a hit of gray in here though this one got a little orange in it though kind of like this as well damn they got a plethora of cute eqts man and you got the eqts without the boost which in my opinion is not even worth it bro 80 beans then you got some anikis over here man i love this colorway look at this red joint not my favorite colorway but it's one of them you got this aniki colorway too you got the hit of adidas stripes in like a navy blue you got a copper aniki sign with a tan i guess whole slot Toe, it's not a toe box. I don't know what you call that. What is these, bro? E EQT cushions, <laughs> ADVs, hard pass. 129 for this colorway, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. They're getting expensive for no reason, bro. You got the skater shoes right here, 50 bean. Purple joint, borny colorway. And you got this color, bro. And a pink joint. 40 beans. Basketball is really not hitting, man. I don't see nothing much in here as far as basketball. You got the Hardens for 80 beans, but these suck. And you got this colorway as well. This colorway, psh, hard pass. Well, I can't believe the D4s in here, man. For 90 beans, this is a big size, though. Buy one, get the second one 50% off. It's still not worth it, in my opinion. Then you got these uh, Adidas Athletic 24-7 TMs. Fitting for $80. Not boost, not prime knit, not worth price. Yo, is this the T-Mac? 160 with additional 50% off. Eventually, we're gonna run into some boots. Should be coming up here shortly, but it's not as much as I'm used to seeing, though. You got these all black boots joint. 170, 50% off the second pair. And then you got the trail joints right here, all gray. And that's pretty much it. That's all I see in here. You got this colorway, man. But yo, that's all I see, bro. Boots 50% off the second pair. All right, this is getting a little better, though. I actually like these. Get a GS1 GTX PK. Obviously, we know that's Prime Net Black Boost. Then you got this colorway. I've been seeing these in all the outlets, so this is a unique colorway. It's a unique shoe all together. 180. Then you got the black joint right here. Again, I remember seeing this in all the outlets walls I did in Adidas. I haven't been to Adidas in a while. This is the first time I popped in here in a good minute. Yo, hard pass. <laughs> what else? You got these joints, 170 as well. So it looks like in this retail plus second one's 50% off. I actually like this colorway right here, 129. And R2 PK. I'm gonna pass though. Then you got these C2s. I don't know what colorway this is. Then you got the black joint up here for 120. It's like the women's over here. It's for the women who love your boots. Just a taste. Not much going on though. You got this salmon color. I don't know what color that is. There you go, ladies. Told y'all I got y'all. So I'm gonna keep bringing it. Yo, y'all shoes more than, than men's shoes. 220? And you got the great colorway. Wow, this is really expensive, yo. And that's pretty much it, bro. Again, this is all women, so I'm at right now. So we about to take it over to Nike. Some more boosts in here, somewhere. More boosts. That's women. We gonna swing through the hash wall real quick and see what's popping. Yeah, I don't know how I missed these uh, Kobe Crazy 8s advanced PKs. Hitting for 140. Buy one, get second one. First time I seen in person. Maybe the second time. I did think I seen them somewhere else. I think it was like a Burlton or Raw. Yo, the hash wall is not shaking much, bro. This is pretty much it for the hash wall. Nothing. No boost. Just random colors. And random shoes. A lot of cleats. Very far between. It's the first boost I've seen with the PK. This is a size 12. What the? This is it Alexander Wayne? Crazy. Yo, even having an Adidas, bro. I would not be picking that up. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't even worth putting that back on the shelf. <laughs> what are these? Huge, though. Wow, what size is this? I'm just curious now. 120, bro. <laughs> I 
hope the audio is a lot better today than normal. So I'm trying to work on something a lot more presentable. I'm hoping that the audio is coming across very clearly. But anyways, we in Nike. We're going to pop and see what the sh shirts are looking like. I love these shirts. Got me a couple of them. Very good material. Then you got some jerseys. Got to be Cleveland, the land, LeBron James. With the hit in four. 110, not bad. Golden State, Stephen Curry. Dope, dope jersey. I like the colorway. I'm not a fan of this OKC. I don't like the cut on this OKC jersey. Should be Russell, right? Zero. Yep. Westbrook. And then you got 35. Can't forget Evan Durant. Like if you guys hated him. Yo, they got lots of different uh, colorways and jerseys. More OKCs. And you got the, what's this? Home or away? Who knows, bro? And then you got the black and white joints here as well. LeBron James, black and white. Kevin Durant, not bad. Well, I get it. These are the jerseys that didn't sell. These are the all-star jerseys that didn't sell. It's the white joints. I think that's Stephen Curry, LeBron's, yep. Yeah, right now we in the kids section, and kids got a ton of heat, bro. Well, maybe not this, but, uh, <laughs> You got the Jordan 6, $55. Jordan 4s. I saw this in the other outlet. My go-to spot for $34, but they got here for $60. You got the Wing It 2s, $120. Not bad price. But the kids, though, I can't see myself spending $120 for my, for my child. But you got the 2 as well, Radio Raheem's. Jordan 1 Lows. I like this. It's kind of suede-ish. Not bad for one. More ones. More ones. Bronze joints right here. KD's. Get some Kyrie's. Oh, these are kids sizes though, bro. I like these Kobe's though. I wish it was like this price for men. Yeah, these are all kids though, man. I'm gonna run through it real quick. I actually like this shoe right here. 60 beans for this. Again, I think these are women's now. Excuse. I think these are women's. No problem. Women, it's harder to pick what you guys would like, man. So I'm just showing you guys random stuff and I hope you guys sort through it. Kind of have an idea what you like hit up your local outlets and see if they have it. Here's the Air Max, 90 beans, more Air Maxes. Hope you, I hope the video's good quality for you guys. I like this though, 100 beans. You got more Air Maxes, $100, wow. Air Max 90, I actually like this though, 70 beans. Material is garbage, but the shoe looks dope. I like these Hirachis though, which is utilities, yeah, premium. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the basketball section right quick. Yo, I actually want this. I got these in all white, but I like the gum bottom joints, yo. 55 beans, not bad. I actually hooping this shoe already. Pretty good, yo. Affordable basketball shoe. That's actually worth the price. Uh, these, I'm not sure what these are. We're in the basketball aisle, so I'm just gonna stroll through. I actually like these hyper dunks as well for 70 beans. I think I'll take those Nike Revs, though. For ten dollars cheaper. These LeBron, R Pass, R Pass. Now this is a good deal, $70 for these. I tried these on already, it's a good basketball shoe. I don't own it, but just trying them on and walking in them, they feel pretty good. And then you got the KD as well, which I do own, but not this colorway. Jordan 1 Elephant Print, car patch. Jordan 1 Lowe's, not a fan of them, but if you are, they're here for 90. And the Spizzix, bro, 140. 140 for some Spizzix. Do people still rock those? I think these might be the cheapest I have seen these so far, bro. These Bonafides, man. I'm not sure what you could do with them. Doesn't look like a basketball shoe. The lifestyle of it, horrible. I would not rock those. This is a shoe I just saw in my last outlet. Actually, this was a thumbnail for my last outlet video. They're here for 80. And you do got this uh, Air Max 2 Up Temples 94s all white joint, $65. No problem. And you do got this Penny 4 black and white colorway. Material here do feel premium. This is actually like a pearlized uh, finish on this shoe. So it's not actually white, it's pearlized. And you got a pair of shoes that no one still don't seem to care for. These Air Shakes and the Shrug 55 beans. For the Dunk lovers who's requesting, there's a few picks. Uh, there's a Fly Knit. Fly Knit 50 beans, not bad. You got Air Force 1 Low. Is the Air Force 1 Low? No, dunk load what am i thinking and then you got this colorway dunk loads as well 40 dollars. as promised you ask i will deliver so keep asking and i will keep delivering your max section excuse it's pretty good now this shoe right here stuck out to me 80 beans for this joint not bad i wish it was a little bit cheaper then maybe i will cop and you got these flares as well these those flares goes up and down in price. But this shoe right here, bro, this is unique. It's like Brazil colorway. Air Pressures Essentials, 80 beans. Then you got the maroon joint as well. I haven't seen this colorway right here, man. But the material is different. So I pull into Shoe Palace. Palace in the premium outlet. Yeah, it's not an outlet outlet per se. What's up, man? How you doing? Good, good. Now I'm just gonna look and see what you guys got. All right, off rip, I do see the Air Maxes. All three of them, which I do want. This would be a consolation prize if I can't get this. What they have for basketball, I do see LeBron James off of rip. These are not the quality joints, right? Nope. PGs. Those are twos. These are the ones. These are the Kobe's. It's been a minute since I've been in here. Don't have much for Jordans other than these uh, Rush Books. 140. History of Flights. Jordan 13s. That's pretty much it. So I'm now leaving the Nike outlet in Adidas. 
Also visit Shoe Cows, as you can tell. Probably gonna visit a few more Nike outlets, but I'm not sure which one. I'm trying to think strategically which one I should go to. Cause I don't wanna get caught up in traffic and all that good stuff. The one I hate going to is the other premium outlet. You gotta drive in and park in the parking garage. That one's a little bit more hectic. I like the ones in the shopping plaza cause you can just pull up, get out and keep moving. So I'm not sure which one I wanna go to. But I got some other things I wanted to do before I leave Orlando. I don't wanna spend the whole day in the outlet. Even though it's interesting for you guys and for me, but sometimes I just wanna do other things. So man, it's gonna be a game time decision. So as soon as I find that out, you guys will know. Cause you'll be in the store with me, right? So let's make it out. What a day, what a day, what a day. Which which one do I want to go to? I don't know, man. I don't know. But let's make it, man. Let's keep it moving. Yo, this video is way too long, man. So if you want to see what happened next, part two, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell as well. Everyone else, man, keep leaving comments down in this video and I reply to each and every single one of you guys. Also, let me know if you see some of these shoes in your local outlets, all right? You already know my slogan. Good to go.